Give it to us. Why should those manufacturer leaders that out there are listening right now, why do they need to embrace MES in the future? Yeah, so, so think about this. What does a manufacturer do? What do they, they make stuff, right? That's what they do. They're not in the accounting business or IT business or HR, mm-hmm. although they, they do all those things. But that's not their core business. And sometimes we forget that. I've even seen manufacturers themselves that have lost sight of that. And I'll never forget when I, I got my start by, um, I was in the computer department at a forging, uh, a, a hot forging uh, factory. And I was a computer programmer there. And I'll never forget, I was just uh, on the job for a, a short time. And I was out in the plant and I was programming something. There was this big press, 2000 uh, ton press that was, was making parts right next to me. And my, my boss, the CEO, he was coming towards me and I, he was coming right towards me. And I'm like, oh, he's going to tell me, you know, great job, Jerry. I'm so glad we hired you. You're an awesome programmer. And he, he came out and he crossed his arms and he looked at me. He looked at the press and he said, Jerry, I don't care what you do, but make sure you don't screw up that press. Because if it's not going up and down, we don't make parts and we go out of business. And then he walked away. I was like, well, la da okay. So, but it's always, I've never forgotten that, right? If that's not right. going up and down, we go out of business. So yeah. given that that's the most important thing we do, it stands to reason that we should be utilizing some sort of technology to make sure we're doing that as effectively and efficiently as possible. And MES is that solution. It's built for that very purpose.